kubor ka batisi tv lawan rasha phi da ka orange nisan lum so kho ni fabric at chillong ringkat bat ka fitorium ka dukan ki tiar kilan met ka ba bhatam ha ka dor ka bit hanong thumai old beat house chillong mr speaker sir according to rule 54 one of the rule of procedure and conduct of business of the house to the news item published in page of the 21st February 2021 under the caption of the block shall mask in civil subdivision the work of GSC. Honorable Speaker, sir, I rise to make my humble submission on the call attention moved by me on the news item which appear on the local daily Unongsai Hima dated 21st February 2021 under the caption Naga Block Shagalaskin Civil Subdivision Dawag JSC which translated into English for the benefits of the house the caption read the Joint Action Committee demands the upgradation of Laskin Block to a civil subdivision. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, the demand for upgradation of Laskin Block into a civil subdivision is one of the long pending issues. The issue first came to light, sir, as per the available record. It was in the year 1991, where a public meeting was held in, the, in this regard at Laskin Village, and in this meeting, they, they even identify a land which is free of use <coughs> for the purpose of sorting, setting up a civil subdivision. Then again, sir, the very same issue, it was brought to the notice of this house by my father, M. Su Chiang, who was the MLA at that time in the year 1993, 1997, and also he brought the same issue in the year 2007. Then followed by ECB Baman, MLA at that point of time, who raised the same issue in the floor of the house in the year 2012. So the demand to upgrade Laskin Block into a civil subdivision are highly justifiable and also in consonance with the clear objective of this government to bring government closer to the people. Mr. Speaker, sir, Laskin Block was created in the year 1973 under the SY Genty Hills District and now after bifurcation under West Genty Hills District. Sir, 48 long years have seen passed and the rate of development is still found wanting. Education, sir, being the key to fostering human development, Laskin Block is still, still has a sad story to tell as there are Increasing rate of school dropout. Mr. Speaker, sir, for all the 87 villages under the block, there is only one government community college at Shangpung, whose location is not central and thereby depriving students of equal opportunity because of this distant factor. Throughout the entire last game block, there's only six higher secondary school, 33 numbers of secondary school, and 75 numbers of upper primary school. Sir. Mr. Speaker, sir. The area under Laskin Block is not gifted with mineral resources and hence 85% uh, 
of the population is highly dependent on agriculture and other related occupation from where they meet manage to sustain their livelihood. A great number of family are subsistence agriculture and therefore sir, they find it next to impossible to even think of sending their children for higher education because of the cost involved. I would like to point out, sir, that setting up of such schools and college colleges should be based on the, lo on the locations that are equally distant to the surrounding village, so that this was this will provide an equal, in equivalent, if not equal, opportunity. And I strongly believe that, sir, if the government set to provide these institutions the current literacy rate of only 72% will be a milestone of the past. Mr. Speaker, sir, As we all know, health is well because without it, what good is development in any sphere? Sir Laskin Block currently has only one PhD, five, only one, sorry, only one CHC, five PhDs, and only 14 subcenters to cater the 87 villages falling under its jurisdiction, jurisdiction, sir. And this has put a huge strain on the existing infra. And therefore, to you, Mr. Speaker, sir, if I may suggest that the subcenter at Pshia and Tadbaman be upgraded to PHC to provide a better service for the border residents and also certain areas falling under Nartiang and Raliang constituency also will be catered by Thadbaman. Similarly, other subcenter upgradation will go a long way in providing basic healthcare services to the population under the jurisdiction of Laskin Block. I would like to inform the House that, till date, there are some residents who need to travel 30 kilometers or more to avail the service of the CHC. And in the case of some serious emergencies, people have still, people still have to expend among beyond their capacity to avail required help healthcare services. Mr. Speaker, sir, there are services that are beyond the competency of the BDO. Be it the registration of land or other related documents, firearm licenses, a requirement for border residents, ration card extra, all these justify the demand for the upgradation of Laskin Block to a civil solution in order to elevate the commandment from the clutch of poverty, primarily for its location being in equivalent short of equidistance. Further, Mr. Speaker, sir, if I may suggest the immediate consideration for the construction of the Katkasla Mojem Jirikendeng Road. If constructed, sir, we are very hopeful that through this road it will open up the economic activity along which 
I believe will boost the earning capacity as currently the road can only be used during the dry season and its undulating condition is proving it's difficult even for the vehicle, heavy vehicle. The lack of connectivity along the border area sir, has given rise to a lot of criminal activities which goes on record due to the very same reason. And moreover, sir, it is very difficult for the law enforcing agency to handle this kind of situation due to the lack of outposts and hence manpower. <coughs> and also, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to point out the increase in population is another factor that needs to be taken active consideration of as this being a natural phenomenon has burdened the district headquarters with congestion, adding strain to what providing basic civic amenities besides pollution extra. Therefore, sir, upgradation of Laskin block into a civil solution will be a step in the right direction, sir. And lastly, Mr. Speaker, sir, through you, I would like to express my pain and anguish our the dilemma my constituents have been experiencing for the last 30 odd years, whereupon losses after losses have caused the loss of precious human life, loss of precious opportunities, which make me most humbly and most fervently urge upon the Honorable Chief Minister <coughs> and likewise his colleague in the cabinet that through you, sir, to deliver the justice to the people of Laskin Block. This will help, sir, to repose faith to the people of the state that this government is serious in, it, in its endeavor to bring government closer to the grassroots. And however, sir, I would also like to place on record with gratefulness, sir, the tremendous development work that this government has extended to, to other area of my constituency. With this very few submission, Mr. Speaker, sir, I beg to resume my seat. Thank you. Minister in charge, to reply. <coughs> Mr. Speaker, sir. I'm thankful to Honorable Member Sri Nujarki Sumo MLA for raising this issue in this August House through this calling attention notice. Sir, the newspaper report refers to the memorandum from the Joint Action Committee for creation of civil subdivision on the Laske CNRD block in Western Hills District. It may be mentioned that a memorandum from other social organizations on the same subject matter has been received by the state government. Mr. Speaker, sir, civil subdivision have been created in the past for public convenience, depending upon the distance from district headquarters, availability of public facilities, population, level of development, extra. I may be mentioned here, sir, that there are also subdivision previously created where infrastructure extra still lacking because of the financial constraint. The view of concern department will be sought so as the government can examine 
in the detail. I'm thankful for the Honourable Member for bringing all the other related issues which matter in the last game Senate block. The government, different department noted, is noted uh, the point which mentioned by him. But at this point of time, sir, the government is examining all aspects of the matter so that viable decision in creating of a civil solution could be taken. Sir, I hope the clarification satisfies the honourable member. You may seek one clarification if you want. I would like to seek one, just one simple clarification, sir, from the Honorable Home Minister. Uh, as to when, as to when will the department examine this issue, and also whenever that meeting happen, I just want to request that the Honorable Home Minister to take the upgradation of Laskin Block into consideration in the next in the in their meetings. After getting a report from the concerned department, it will be examined the feasibility of the report, then only decision could be taken in this matters because